Welcome everybody to my MQTT beginner's guide with an example Python implementation. The video will cover two parts. First, a very short theoretical introduction, and I promise I'll keep it very short. And second, a practical example of an MQTT implementation with Python. If you directly want to get your hands dirty, of course, you can skip the theoretical introduction and directly skip to minute seven, but I recommend to stay. Before we start, two things. First, you can find the whole code, which I show later here on GitHub, and I'll put a link into the description. And second, I published everything I tell you in this video also on medium.com, which is kind of a blog. Um, you will find all the theoretical examples, which I tell you now, written down here, as well as the examples of the code I'll show in some minutes. And I'll also put the link into the description. All right, so let's start with the theoretical explanation of MQTT. MQTT is an open and simple client server published subscribed message transport protocol designed for machine to machine communication between different devices and environments of high latency and low network bandwidth. What the hell? Let's break it down a little bit. So first of all, machine to machine communication, what does that mean? Basically, it means the need of one machine or let's call it better device to communicate with or talk to another machine or device. And actually, this happens all the time already, especially in the IoT context. So imagine you're, you're having a smart home, right? and perhaps you have an outside temperature sensor um, which informs your heating devices uh, whenever the outside temperature is below a certain degree to turn on the radiators or something. Same time, of course, uh, with your smartphone, you want to know how cold it is outside and get informed. At the same time, you want to control your heating devices from your smartphone. Perhaps additionally you want to switch on and off your lights in your house with, with your smartphone or even better automated so whenever you leave the house to turn them on uh, to turn them off sorry automatically at the same time you can control your vacuum cleaner with your smartphone or even get information from your fridge whenever something is missing so the need is already present that devices talk to each other frequently and MQTT is a protocol which enables, which is a perfect match for especially those IoT contexts, to enable machines to talk to each other. All right, so machine to machine communication, check. Next, environments of high latency and low network bandwidth. So MQTT is a very lightweight protocol. It's very efficient and has a small footprint. At the same time, it has <coughs> different levels of quality of services, which ensures that messages between devices are actually delivered, even if the environments are unstable, like unwired connections via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, satellite, and so on. MQTT is very resistant here, which makes it a perfect match for IoT scenarios. All right, environments of high latency and low network bandwidth, check. Next. Client server publish subscribe. So this is actually a very powerful feature of MQTT. Let's recap on, on the picture before, like uh, imagine you're having a smart home, having a lot of devices talking to each other, being connected with each other. It will get chaotic and no one will have an overview anymore. Which device is talking to which device, how frequently about which topics and so on. So it will get chaotic. So how will MQTT solve this? Actually, MQTT comes with a MQTT broker, which is a server, which structures communication into different topics. Here an example, we have a topic temperature and a topic position. The different devices can now publish information to these topics. So imagine having your outside temperature sen uh, sensor publishing information to the temperature topic. 
At the same time, your heating devices can publish their current temperature to this topic and as well as your smartphone can publish to the temperature topic to control the temperature. For example, to say all heating devices please 22 degrees. So devices can not only publish information to this topic, at the same time interested devices can subscribe to the topic. For example, the smartphone can subscribe to the temperature topic because it's interested in the outside temperature. At the same time, the heating devices can subscribe to the temperature topic to be informed whenever, uh, whenever the smartphone sends a control message to regulate the temperature. Let's have a look on the position topic. So, for example, the smartphone can publish its actual position. For example, if the user leaves his house, the position is located outside. At the same time, for example, the vacuum cleaner can publish its position to say in which room he is actually cleaning. On the other hand, other devices can subscribe if they are interested in the position. For example, the heating devices and the light bulbs to turn off whenever the user leaves his home. The security camera can turn on whenever the user leaves a home. At the same time, the robot, the vacuum cleaner can, can subscribe to the position topic to start whenever the user is not at home to not annoy him. That's how MQTT structures communication here and decouples the devices from each other. The MQTT broker here acts as a server while as all devices publishing or subscribing information will act as a client. All right, client server publish subscribe check. Now let's have a look on how simple MQTT is and we'll get our hands dirty with Python. We'll run a free MQTT broker as server and write some clients to publish and subscribe messages to within Python. And then you can see how simple it is. All right, uh, to get started, we need two things. One, an MQTT broker or server and an MQTT client. So for the MQTT broker or server, there are some free ones available online. So just type in MQTT Eclipse <coughs> and you'll find the free server here, MQTT, mqtt.eclipseprojects.io. And this is basically already an MQTT broker you can connect to on a free basis. Next is we need a client in Python. And for this, we'll use a payo MQTT library. So just type in payo MQTT. And you'll find a good documentation on what you need. Basically, you can install it quickly with pip. Let's do it. pip install payo MQTT. Hit enter. And I already installed it before. So what we are going to do today is we create two publishers, two MQTT publishers, um, faking the inside temperature from a, from a heating device and one faking the outside temperature from an outside temperature sensor. And then we are writing a receiver or a subscriber to subscribe those mes messages from the MQTT broker. Let's first start with the publisher. Let's create a new file here. Uh, somehow, wait a second, new file like this. MQTT publish one py and first do the imports. Let's delete this. So from uh, Payo MQTT, we um, import uh, the client as MQTT. We do some imports from random to later um, publish randomized numbers and we import time to do this on a regular basis. Next thing is basically to connect to the broker and create the client. So with only three lines of code, we connected to our MQTT broker, this one, and we just pasted 
over this URL. I, I'll also put it into the description of the video. Next the thing is we create a client with the payo MQTT client library here and give the client a name in this um, <coughs> this time I just named it temperature inside <coughs> and then from the client which we named temperature inside we can connect to our broker which we specified before. To finish our first MQTT publisher all we need now is from this client publish messages to this broker. So let's do this. So all we do here with these four lines of code is we'll generate a random number between 20 and 21 which will basically fake the inside temperature. We'll publish this random number to, and this is important, the topic called temperature which we specify here from our client which we call temperature inside and then we just print it out to the console. So just published the random number to topic temperature. We sleep one second and then do the same again until forever. Let's try to run it. MQTT publish one.py and I made an error somewhere. Yes, here. So you don't need to specify the HTTP. It's fine if you just do it like this and let's rerun it. And it seems to work. So it's telling me just published then the random number to topic temperature all the time each second. Yeah, basically it seems as if it's working. We can't verify it because we don't, s we can't see inside the broker. Uh, we need to look on the other side on the subscriber to actually see if we can subscribe these messages from the broker topic temperature. But before we do so, first let's finish off also our second publisher, the outside temperature. So for our second publisher, the outside temperature, we can copy over the complete code and just create a new file here, mqtt publish2.py, paste it over and we keep everything exactly the same, just that we rename the client here to temperature outside and we'll use not a temperature between 20 and 21 degrees, we'll use rand range to create a temperature between 0 and 10 degrees which is quite of common in the winter in Germany. All right rest stays the same we connect to our broker we spin up a client with the name temperature outside and we connect from the client to the broker we generate a random number between 0 and 10 and publish this to the temperature topic. Let's try to run it. And you see it generates a random number between 0 and 10 and just prints out to the console that it published it successfully to the topic on the broker. But as mentioned, to be able to really see that we can subscribe it, read it out of the topic from the other side, we need to create a subscriber. So let's do this. All right, time for our subscriber. So let's create a new file, MQTT subscribe.py <coughs> and again we can copy over a lot of things here basically the first six lines are oh, we don't need this random stuff anymore like this so we import uh, the um, payo mqtt client we again connect to the broker and in this time our client should fake our smartphone from which we subscribe to the temperature from outside and inside to have all the relevant information available on our phone. And we again connect to the MQTT broker. So until here no change, but now it's getting interested. So we need to subscribe to a topic within a loop. So let's first of all create this loop. Okay. 
So uh, we start the loop here and end it here and wait 30, 30 seconds before we end the loop from the client here. And from within the loop now we can subscribe to messages of a certain topic. Let's do this. So basically with only one line of code we can subscribe already to the topic temperature but and this means we already re uh, receive messages but we will not see them because to be able to see them to do something with a message we need a on message callback function to define so let's do it So what we do here, so here we have our loop with in the loop, which, which runs for 30 seconds. Within the loop, we subscribe to our temperature topic. And whenever we receive a message while subscribing, we execute this function on message. And on message is defined as following. So whenever a message comes in, we just print out receive message and then we print out the payload of the message and decode it. That's it. Let's see if it works. Subscribe.py and we see we'll get certain messages which were published before. Perhaps let's turn it around. Let's run our subscriber here and then run the publishers in a separate comment line. So let me prepare it quickly. So let's first run our sub subscriber here and then quickly run our producers. Publish 2.py and one.py and go back to our subscriber and we see our two publishers are running with the outside and inside temperature and in our subscriber we are directly getting it out of the temperature topic here. Basically that's it already with my quick demo. So this runs now for 30 seconds and then it reaches loop, loop end and that's it. That's the purpose. We got our hands dirty got some experience with some basic MQTT functions, publishing and subscribing. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. See you soon.